and welcome to my YouTube video. So this week I thought I'd speak about how to turn your art into greeting cards. So what do you need then to do this? Well, the most important thing is that you have a JPEG that is good quality. So whether you are doing a piece of digital art via something like, say, Procreate, or you're out and about and you like to photograph the scenery around you, or you're an artist that produces paintings or lino prints or etchings maybe, you can easily use your photo JPEGs. If you are taking photos of scenery or your own work, an up-to-date camera phone will be good enough. I've produced greeting cards from photos taken on my iPhone 10 and they were fine. But always remember before you take the shot to give your camera phone lens a good wipe as this will vastly improve the quality and clarity of your photos. Always try to take them as well in good natural light and if you do this they should be absolutely fine to use and give you good enough prints for greeting cards. So just a word then about the format of your cards. For most online print-ready firms like Vistaprint or Printed.com, they will require your designs in the following format. So the front and the back of the card will be your page one of the design. The dotted line down the centre denotes the fold line. You must allow for a bleed area around your design where the artwork will be trimmed. In the UK, this is normally three millimetres. Any design should stretch over the bleed area. So page two is only applicable if you want to put a message inside your card. So page two will be the inside of your card and you will place anything like happy birthday, happy mother's day, any message really in that part of the card. So what software can I use to format my cards? I would recommend canva.com. You can set up an account for free and if you are happy with the basic version, which is what I'm going to show you how to use today in this video, it won't actually cost you anything. So let's get started then. We want to create a custom design and enter the size that you want your cards to be. So check the printers that you intend to use as most suppliers have standard sizes they offer. For example, A6, A5 or some kind of square card. So we are then going to add our bleed area, our rulers and our margins to our custom document. Adding rulers and margins will make it easier for placement of text but you'll see what I mean later when I show you how to do this. So I'm now going to upload my artwork that I want to use and stretch it over the right side, remembering that the left side is the back of my card. I'm now going to place some text on the back. I usually just put my website details or maybe the title of the artwork as well. You can increase and decrease the size of the text, re-justify it, change the colour, font, etc. all at the top on the toolbar. I'm now going to add another page. This will be the inside of my card. So I'm just going to write happy birthday and position it using the ruler to help me place it in the right place. Don't forget your fold line will be down the centre. So now we are going to export it as a PDF print format. You need to select crop marks and bleed and also flatten PDF. So here we go then. This is the print ready PDF, which is ready to go to the printers. You can see the black marks in the corners denote the trimming lines. So this small area around your card will be cut off. So you see how easy it is, so why not start your own range of greeting cards and sell them? If you're going to have a go at setting up a side hustle, you may want to think where you can sell your cards. 
So you could use online platforms like Etsy or even your own website to sell them. You can sell them at craft events or try local shops to see if they want to stock them. So how much should you charge for your cards then? You need to take the following into consideration when pricing your cards. So number one, your time in creating the artwork. Number two, any selling website fees or online platform fees like Etsy. Number three, postage. Will you offer free postage as this needs to be factored into an overall price? Number four, printing costs, envelopes, salo bags, also your postal envelopes as well. It is also worth bearing in mind that if you're going to try and retail your cards, the retailer will want to purchase it at a trade price, which will be a vastly reduced price on your selling price. And that's pretty much it. So get inspired and turn your artwork into cards. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you can. Check out my website, sarahhalladayart.com, where you will find all my greeting cards plus other items. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next one.